This newsreel is being brought to you by American Tire, tires, and much, much more. Uh, my boyfriend called and said the lights, the sirens were going off in Springfield, so we all went into the bathroom and we heard just slams and bangs and a humming noise. And then after it quit, we came out. And the first door we opened, the window was blew in, and there was debris and all in the house, leaves. Then we came out here and found the pool destroyed and all. Um, a little scary? It was very scary. We was praying, and that's the only thing I think kept us safe. We were just all in there, four of us huddled in the tub. and That's what they say to do, get in the tub. That's right. We got in the tub, closed the door. That's our only inner room. And uh, we just found trees down my yard and other people's trees in the yard picnic tables, my picnic tables in the pool, my pool chairs, but the fence, we don't know where it's at, it's gone. <laughs> Part of it's in the on the house. Um, just a very scary experience and I'm very lucky that all of us was made it through it. Uh, we went to the basement when the news directed us to go to the basement and we heard the wind coming in through our utility room in the basement and you could feel the pressure change in the house for about 10, 15 seconds, and then it was just quiet, and it was gone. Weird. And we came out and started checking for damage. You think it was a tornado? About, I'm not certain. But it was about probably 15, 20 minutes later, we came out and started checking for damage. They say and, they, you hear a freight train. Did you hear anything like that? That you could, It wasn't quite as loud as a freight train, but you could really hear it coming in through like my like utility room. train? <laughs> <laughs> it was loud. You could hear it. Uh, so, Dusty, you're uh, covering up some windows here. Yeah, we received the call, houses and windows blowing out. Upon arrival, we found several houses with some damage, uh, roofs, shingles, uh, shutters, everything. And we got a couple houses, the windows just blowed out of them. So we're tarping the ha windows up for the homeowner to help them out. Most of the damage we saw to homes in Arlinda seemed to reflect an outward pressure. However, in the case of Joshua Brown's home, the reverse seems to be true, where his garage door was pushed in. He said it was a scary ride. So I was just standing on the front porch and I was kind of watching the winds as they came because the news had said that the tornado warning should have been coming through about 10 minutes earlier and it was uh, kind of looking like, hey, it should be happening now. And so Right about that time on the front porch, I started hearing the straight line winds, which we have all the time here. But then all of a sudden, I heard the actual freight train sound people start talking about. And so I slammed the door, ran in the middle of my bathroom, through. I'd already, for some reason, I just decided to put um, a mattress inside of there, just in case. And then all of a sudden, the entire house just starts shaking. And at that point, I knew this was a little bit different than um, just an average storm coming through. And so... Um, yeah, it probably lasted about 15, 20 seconds at the most. Um, then I, at that point, I finally walked out. You know, I was, nerves were shot about that point. I was really, you know, it was, it was pretty intense, even, even that short amount of time. And I walk outside and saw insulation everywhere. A piece from my roof was kind of busted out. Garage door was buckled in. Entire fence just about was obliterated. And um, sections were strewn all over the place. Almost like it just tried to gently pick up your house it just didn't have the power to do it yeah it didn't have the power so after looking at the different neighbors because i went over there to make sure there were no injuries people were okay once i figured out i was good and it literally seems like it formed kind of in a trifecta area between three of our homes right over here yeah, so i mean it I'm must saying, have right? just formed like right here right. um just barely briefly and picked up and missed the people across the street it's crazy mm -hmm. but the craziest part about it all i had two pumpkins on the front porch weren't touched they just <laughs> stayed there are they there now Yep, they're still there, so it's crazy. The Portland Fire Department had a cleanup of their own to do when the roof of one of their newly renovated buildings came flying off in the high winds. A WSMB Channel 4 News sent Smokey these uh, photographs. As you can see, they're already beginning the cleanup process, so they're not wasting any time. Over on I-24, a tractor trailer hauling some kind of radiological equipment was uh, blown off the freeway, and uh, he ended up getting stuck in the meridian. A couple of hours ago, it appears that we've got a one of the intermodal boxes that's got a uh, low-grade radioactive material on board. He had the plane went off in the median at the 18.4 mile marker on I-24. No breach of the containers. Uh, we've got an EMA staff guy out there with the radiological detection equipment. He's checking it to make sure we don't have any leaks. Uh, that happened a couple hours ago, so they're waiting for a uh, record to get there to pull him out. He's just stuck in the median.
So we were very lucky. Great. Now those kind of containers are generally designed to withstand some kind of punishment, I would assume. Yeah, this is a type A container. It's not going to be breached unless it gets into some type of catastrophic event. Great. All right. Well, thank you, sir, for the update. You're welcome, sir. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. Compared to some other states that were hit by this storm, I think we fared pretty well. One interesting fact to note, uh, the house that had the windows that blew out of it, you'll note that it wasn't just the windows. It was the entire frame itself. This suggests to me there were some considerable forces pulling in that house to be able to yank the frame off that way. However, the lady who was in the home alone at the time says that there really wasn't that much noise. At any rate, this has been Jim Ball reporting for Smokey Barn News in Orlando. Don't let this happen to you. We've all heard this sound before. Take your car to American Tire before it's too late. Don't sit there and stare at that check engine light. It's time to do something about it. Take it to American Tire and have them look under the hood. They'll get you on the road and they'll keep you there too. Go like their Facebook page to see special offers and discounts. The link is below this video.